Hey everyone, what's up? I hope my audio is good. Uh, nice to see a number of viewers already. I am waiting for Jordi to join us. Uh, I believe he should be joining in slowly. I want to tell everyone that the live... Uh, hey Ain, thanks for joining. What's up? Jordi's here. Okay, so you know what? Let's, let's jump right into it. Let's have Jordi come in. Our bo big boy with the grown-up decisions going to UST, carving his own path. Uh, now we're just waiting for the internet to cooperate, hopefully soon. And we get Jordy in here. Happy Sunday to everyone. And our man of the hour is finally here, present. Uh, hey, hey, okay, yeah, we're waiting for the... Hey, Jordy, what's up, bro? How you doing? I like the color of the jacket. Very fitting. <laughs> I'm just man. How have you been? How have you been? <laughs> I've been doing well, bro. Uh, thanks for, I know it's been a busy week, but thanks for taking the time <laughs> out to do this live. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's jump right to it. I want, I, it's been probably like the craziest week of your life, right? So how's it been? Like, can you describe yeah. it in a few words? What's it like? Uh, you know, I was really excited to announce it. It's supposed to be this weekend, but you know, it was announced earlier than, it, than I expected. So yeah, it's been crazy. It's a crazy week for me. Really exciting. Yeah. Really exciting. Um, just to get it right, you're doing your official jacket photo, I think, Monday, right? That's when you might do it with USD, the official varsity uh, yeah. jacket. Is yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. 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 I, I, might, I might drop by USD tour. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, if any USD students are yeah. near the campus, you might run into Jordi. Give him a warm welcome to USD. Uh, make sure wearing face masks, socially distance, <laughs> of course. We still gotta stay safe. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. For sure, course, for sure. So, Jordi, you're a tiger. I mean, has that sunk in yet? Do you kind of believe it yet, or <laughs> are you still like, whoa? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm still, still shocked to be honest. You know, does it feel? Does it feels weird at, at the moment? You know, I'm not used to it, but. I get the hang of it. Who was uh who were the first few people to congratulate you aside from your family? Like any friends that really helped you out throughout this process and they were as excited as you were when you finally made the decision? Yeah, yeah. I told I told my close friends, my neighbors, of course, my my old teammates and coaches, like Colin, you know, and my, my teammates, yeah, my my close friends, I told them advance. And my mom's right. <laughs> right, right. Shout out to Colin, yeah. first ever guest of one on one with Navs in Instagram Live. Uh, I know that you and him were talking throughout <laughs> the process. So I want to mention also uh, yeah, yeah. one that the floor will be open for questions from viewers today uh, in our limited time with Jordi. Uh, mm -hmm. Just send them via the questions function. Two, we have a giveaway uh, halfway through this point, and yes. I'm excited to reveal more info about that. Uh, but first, Let's talk to Jordi a little bit. Jordi, uh, what was the recruitment process like? Because you took like a few months to really decide uh, what were your options. Uh, and I know that going abroad to train also for like a gap year was considered, right? So how did everything lead to USD? I you know that I think it started around, I'd say late last year or maybe early this year. A few A few schools reached out, you know, they're trying to ne negotiate. They're trying to get me, but you know, at the end, I had to choose. I had to choose. Yeah, late. I had to choose a school that's best tailored for me. So I think USD. Was so was sure. USD was was USD? You know how when we make decisions, we always have that number one choice, deba. Right? And then usually it's like mm -hmm. the other choices that like keeps us from deciding the first choice is the answer. Ah, yeah. So for you, was it a situation where it was always USD, but you just needed time to accept it? Or was it like one day it was USD, another day it was UP, another day it was go abroad? Which of the two was it? Uh, you know, at first I, I really wanted to play for UP, you know, following my brother's footsteps. Mm -hmm. I, I really wanted to play my brother heavy. But, you know, I, I have to be professional and... Just do what's best for me, and I chose USD. 
I think I can improve as a player and and grow as a a person. Right. Interesting you say that, no? And when you said you had to be a professional, was that because USC had roster spots open that you could take advantage of? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they specifically said they needed me. So, you know, that, that was a big part. Yeah. They wanted me. So, yeah. How, how did they need you? Like, did they say you're going to be the starting shooting guard? You're going to earn, like, 25 minutes? Like, how did they uh, say they, they... When I first met with them, they said they, they were looking for two uh, twos and threes, which is my spot. You know, with the departures of Abando, Paraiso, Tancino, you know, right? They they needed they needed people to fill up the spots, and they reached out. They reached out. That's great. Uh, mm-hmm. You also mentioned I found it interesting. though. you mentioned that USC wanted you, right? And the reason why I asked yeah. that is because. So many times when I talk to high school recruits about why they go to a certain college, uh, they say the reason why is because they were wanted by that school, right? Like the school really linigaw, mm-hmm. they made legal, diba? they courted you. So I'm, I'm curious, did USC yeah, really yeah. go all out in terms of recruiting you? And would you say that, ha, was it the most compared to the other schools? Yes, yes, yes. That, that, that mo- definitely. They, they needed me the most out of all the schools. Mm. Since, since early this year, they, they've been reaching out. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say USD. He's wanted you. Did you feel that uh, UP showed the same want to have you? Or do you feel that it wasn't the same as USD? I feel that it wasn't it was definitely not the same. It was, not, it was difficult. It was difficult. The, the, uh, I don't think so. The UP part was difficult, you, you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What made it difficult? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd say, you know, the, the, the roster and, yeah, it's just... It was bad. The, the, yeah, it's that. Yeah. It's filled up the roster, you know. They got they got a lot of players from other schools and, you know, they recruited a lot of different players, other players. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are are you willing to reveal I mean we've seen reports, Jordi, <laughs> the ball. Like I also came out with an article mentioning who some might, of the other schools might have been. But and other websites have also reported. But do you wanna share some of the other schools who tried to pitch you? Uh sure sure. Uh, in in UAP, yeah, it was De La Salle, USD and UP, and mm-hmm. in NCAA, it was CSB, and I think it was Mapua, CSB and Mapua, CSB and Mapua. Yeah. So you you have really considered the other schools also, or was it always down to USD and UP? No, I consider I consider them all, you know. But I I I wanted to play for UAP, so probably La Salle, USD, and UP were my ahead like mm-hmm. in the options, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna shout out uh, Monchi Ampel for joining us. He's a USD fan. He will be excited to watch you, Jordi. Uh, let's let's take the conversation to the campus a little bit. The, I want to shout out Addison Domingo, my friend. There you go. Also, shout out to Colin. He joined <laughs> in the live too. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, also Colin. Yeah, everyone tuning in, of course. Jordi, have you already researched how different life will be uh, going to school in Katipunan, Diliman, compared to going to school in Espana? And what are, yeah. what are you excited about? And what are you a little worried of? Let's be honest. I... Um... The worried part, I think I'd be a little homesick, especially I'll stay in the dorm. Yeah, with USD. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited because it's going to be new. You know, I'm going to have to change the environment and the, the people that I'm, 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 I'm not close with. So, yeah. And, and yeah, I'm just excited to try something new. That's fair. Yeah. Are you, uh, do, you, do you to stay out of my comfort zone? That's true. You got to grow every day. Do you feel kind of excited mm. that 
you're the only one now in the family who can say, oh yeah, I play for USC. I I carved a different path. Like, does that kind of make you happy? Yeah, yeah. But if you guys don't know, uh, I think my oldest brother Joe, he played for USC, but Team B, mm-hmm. Team B, he didn't get to play for UAP. So he was actually the first out of the brothers to study in USC. Yeah. Then I, I'm like. Yes, yeah. Is is Joe training yeah. with USC now or UP? What's his uh decision? No, he he transferred to UP. I think two years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he went he went back. He came back to UP. <laughs> All right, I have a, After, I have another yeah. interesting thought. What if the UAP returns, right? And let's say there's a UP USC game. And Mejo, last time we had the UAP season, those two were at it, right? That was an intense final four. You know it. You know it. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, what's the dinner situation mm-hmm. gonna be like at home with the family? Like, let's say USD beats UP. Are you gonna like walk in there like a little excited? Like, yeah, what's up? Or are you gonna be like just quiet and slick about it? Definitely, definitely. <laughs> you know, the trash talk's gonna be there. I mean, heavy. <laughs> gonna be interesting, intense. Right. And I'm actually excited for that one. Really excited. I'm sure. Play against my brother. I'm sure. Uh, so you have and three my former older teams. brothers and your former teammates. Yeah, possibly Colin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you have three older brothers. That's Joe, that's Javi, and that's one, right? And clearly the three of them play basketball. Yes, yes. We know that. So do you. So yes, if yes. I ask you what one thing, it doesn't need to be just basketball, by the way. It could be life also. What's the one thing you learn from each brother that you apply every day? Starting with Joe, you know, the de- determination of Joe to work hard, you know, the gym, he shows me the, pro- you know, Joe and have actually all of them, all of them, you know, they, they train me every day, they try to make me, you know, more hardworking and they, they're more than willing to help me every single day. I'm really thankful for them, really thankful for those. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and that, the, you know that winner's attitude, you know, they, they, they strive to become great. The bro- my brothers yeah. help me with that. Yeah. Is it true that one is the best trash talker from the brothers? Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, no, I don't think so. Really? I don't think so. Who, who? I think, I think. What? Who who trash talks the most or the best from the brothers? I'd say me. <laughs> Whoa, or, or maybe, okay. I don't know. <laughs> no, I like that. I like the confidence. <laughs> like so so when you're when you're out there playing like two on two in the backyard court, you're just going at them even if they're older or more experienced. You're just like, Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. here, I'm I'm coming. Mm-hmm. And how do they usually react to it? Are they surprised? Are they yes. like, yeah, they are. How, how, what do they say? That, they're like, what the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, <just> <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, they, you know, they, they, they do that to make me better, you know. Shoot. They, they, I, I, they teach me a lot in the court. Are you also the best and, at know, 2K? Just, yeah. Are you also the best yeah, at 2K? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> 2K, COD, FIFA. <laughs> name Who, it, name it. Who's your go to team on 2K? Warriors. Ah, Warriors, definitely. So I, I, like, I like using Steph Curry. And Steph Curry, my idol. Yeah, the, the way you play and also. Clay, Clay is injured at the moment, so. Mm. Hmm? The way you play also, you like shooting mm. it from outside, right? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about GDL Athletics that have you started because you told me you needed to like improve your body for college, right? So are you going to be on that GDL yeah. Athletics grind yeah. every day? Yeah, it's my brother Javi, you know, it's his personal, what do I say, personal, it's, you know, personal project, I say project, you know, he's teaching teaching my teammates in UPIS, you know, with the gym, he also, he also me, but right at the moment, he's at the bubble, he's gonna play, I think, tomorrow, or this coming week, June yeah, 16, June 16, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, this coming week, so, 
I haven't seen him in a month. I miss, I miss my bro. Yeah. I wanna, mm. I wanna take this opportunity to wish your bro and the rest of Gila's best of luck as they proceed with an upcoming tough week. Who knows? Maybe one day, Jordy, with enough training, you'll also be representing the Philippine name across your chest, right? Is that your dream? Hopefully, hopefully. Yes, yes, definitely. The, hopefully. When you see uh, older brothers like do what they've done, like bring a team to the finals, or um. Go represent the country in international play. What does that do for you? I mean, I'm, I know it's motivating, but does it, does it like keep yeah. you up at night because it's a little bit of pressure also? No, nah, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm just proud for my bros representing the country, and it's very inspiring, you know, to see them play for the country, play for the team, made the finals. You know, it's, it inspires me and a lot of people. So, yeah. There's a there's a comment here, Jordi. You might want to react. This dude wants to represent Korea, not Gilas. Probably because of your style right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you into like K drama and K music, <laughs> K pop? Sorry, sorry, sorry. K pop and all of that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, a lot. I watch a lot of dramas. My mom and I, and my dad. Some sometimes I tell, I'm not sure. Yeah, K pop also. I listen to music. <laughs> Of course, of course. And so happy you're, you're a BTS like, fan. Drums. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. And I'd say you're a BTS yeah. fan. <laughs> okay, so there were, I believe, there were some questions sent in yesterday when we announced this. So I'm waiting for Ron to put that in the screen. Then we'll go through the questions really fast, <laughs> Jordi, because let's just say you're a popular guy. Yeah. And people want to ask you questions, and to everyone viewing right now, yeah. uh, you can send in some questions through the questions function on the live. So we're waiting for the questions to be asked. Um, hey, what's up, Javi? Nice to see you there. Javi joins us today. Shout out my bro, Javi. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> okay. I think I found the first question here. So let's go through these, like, Really fast. This one is from user account Ann Solares. I'm not sure if he's still here. Who inspires you the most? There, it's on the screen. Who inspires you the most, Jordi? I, I can't really say. I'd say all, all of them. You know, it's a, it's a. I know it's a competition, a healthy competition, but all of them inspire me to become a better player. Every day, yes, and they they do their best to show me show me how how's it done, you know. Right. Yeah. How about uh? Okay. The next question: Does he have any hidden talent? Do you have any hidden talent? That's from Thrixie and uh. uh I wouldn't say. I would. I'm not really sure. It's my hidden talent. So it's still hidden. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. From the, I, play, I play the piano seldomly. That's a talent, eventually, right? Right. So <laughs> the next question. No, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go for it, Jordi. Go. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay. All yeah. right. I'm good. So this one, you might know the answer. What is his biggest pet peeve from Darwin Hernandez? Um, I can't stand people who. Too loudly, you know. So that's a probably the biggest pet peeve. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, so bad habit. I, I can't stand. So if you were in a table with someone who was chewing loudly, would you get up and go to another table? Definitely, definitely. I can't. <laughs> I think. <laughs> All right. If you guys see Jordy uh, in the future and you're eating something, make sure you aren't chewing loudly. So we got twenty four. <laughs> we got okay. This is a good question. I'm gonna ask this from Astro Boy is gay. What do you plan to study in UST, Jordy? So do you know what course you wanna take yet? Uh, at the moment, I think I'm choosing whether business or business commerce or sports science. Either either one of the two, maybe. I'm still making up my mind. You know, gets not yet sure. Gets, gets. Okay, that's a good one. You have your time to decide that. Um, here's a good question mm -hmm. from School Dude is Cool. Did you also not decide on going to La Salle because their lineup was stacked 
as well? I'd say yes. I'd say yes. And, you know, that one and, you know, the it's very far from my house, you know, dorm life as well. But, ah, you know, yeah. it's a stack team. It's like, it's like you, you know, but farther, I'd say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, here's very a... Stack team. Yeah, here's another good one. Uh, how do you feel about following the footsteps um, of other UST greats such as Kevin Ferrer and Jarek Peng? Because now you're going to go play for the team that they helped lead to so many successful seasons. Yeah, yeah. You know, I watch, growing up, I've been watching them, you know, especially... USD is known for, I think, having 18 championships. And growing up watching them, you know, it's inspiring also. And I learned a lot from them, you know. I get it. I get it. This one's a good one from Colin. How do you feel about leaving me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hurts. It hurts me. <laughs> yeah, it's been really close friends since grade school and Ateneo, the UP high, high school, you know, it hurts leaving my home, college. Right. We, you know, we, had, we had plans to play for the col same college, but, you know, it had to be this way. I get it. I get it. You know, with that in mind already, were, how did... Colin can come with me. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Right, right. Is that an I'm offer? Staying. Wow, Colin. <laughs> Colin, it's out there. Possibilities out there. Um, just for everyone who doesn't know yet, Colin has committed to the UP pool. Uh, and he's going to be batting for a roster spot. And Jordy is going to battle for a roster spot at UST too. But also, now that we're at the topic of former teammates, Jordy, how did they react when you told them they, like before the decision came out that, guys, you're going to see na I'm going to UST. Like, what was the message there? Was it emotional or was it, like, kind of professional Yeah, it's business? emotional. But, you know, I'd say it's, it's a positive. It's positive, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't like the decision. You know, the UP fans, of course. But I, I'd say, you know, it's something new for me. and I, I'm just positive, you know. I got it. I get it. Now, do you feel that what was the reaction you got? Because I know a lot of UST people were happy to see that you committed, especially because they've had like a, a challenging last few months you know, with the players leaving and with what happened with Coach Alden. But what was the reaction you got from the UST community on social media once it was announced that you were going there? Uh, they, they, they were really welcoming, you know, a, a lot of pages, you know, posted, you know, they're really excited to see me in this campus and play for the team, you know. Yeah, they're very welcoming. It was the USD community. You you got to see firsthand how intense their crowd support is, right? When UP took on USD in the final four, season 81, were you impressed already by how much they were backing their team? Did that factor into your decision to go there? I was actually, I was actually heartbroken to see my bro bros lose <laughs> two games, you know. But yeah, USC is a strong team. They showed that the coaching staff and the players is very. They were very like composed, and then they played. Yeah, and at that time I was still a UVI student, so I didn't want USD to win at that time. So yeah, uh, I get yeah, that. My bros, I was sporting my bros, of course. So you guys are used to having a lot of, let's say, clout or let's say like um, interaction on social media, right? Because a lot of fans want to get to speak with all of you. but And sometimes it could be fun. Like when you said, like from the USD community, they supported you. But then there are also times where you can see critical messages or replies sometimes, right? Did you experience that from people when it was announced that you would be leaving UP and going to USD? Did you get some criticism? And how do you use that criticism? No, I don't think I got... I don't think I saw any bad comments, you know. Mm -hmm. 
even the UP fans, you know, they were very supporting mm -mm. with my decision, you know. Yeah, they, they, might, they may be sad, but they still support me, I know, I'm, I'm for sure. Right, for sure. And I'm sure you will and, also... You know, US, and the USC community is very... They're very excited to see me. Right. Yeah. And I'm sure you're also going to miss being part of the UP community, right? You had so many good years there. And they before you left, they had really like established a program there for seniors and they were starting to do the same for high school, right? So how do you feel about when you look back now that your former UP community, does it make you nostalgic already? Does it make you emotional? What's the vibe? Yeah, it, it, it was really hard. You know, I wanted to... Yeah, but I said earlier, I wanted to follow my bro brother's footsteps and play with my brother, Javi. And UP has been my home for six years. I was I was really planning. I really wanted, but it was hard for me at first. But yeah, I, I, I had to do what's best for me. I think USD is my, say, destiny, probably. What was it like having your parents, Tito Bert and Tita Anna, to help you with the decision? Like, what guidance did you get from them? Yeah, they, yeah, they, they were just supporting me all the way. They, they wanted me to choose what, what was best for me. And, and they just facilitated, you know, the things I needed. And... They respected my decision and, you know, they made me choose. They let me choose my own. That's awesome. Great. Supportive parents yeah. as usual. So we're going to have a little bit of an intermission here. But before we do mm -hmm. so, I have a good question here uh, from my good friend Ram. Jordi, he wants to know if you think UST has the best chant in the UAAP. I think he's referring to the go with that Chan. Chan? Chan. C H A N. Oh, yeah, definitely. Cheers. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very catchy. Even if I was a Yuki student, you know, go with that is a very catchy Chan. <laughs> you know, I like it. Interesting. Yeah, I like it. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So before we go, and by the way, the floor is still open for questions. Send your questions for Jordi via the questions function. But. Before we go further, I just want to announce that uh, in the spirit of remembrance, celebrate, this is for USD students, by the way, celebrate your graduation with a piece of me memento of USD brought to you by Young Metro TGRPWR Clothing. I believe that means Tiger Power. The graduation sale includes selected products that were from our their first season releases down to their latest. There will also be shipping for free exclusively within Metro Manila for the 2021 batch graduates of UST. Here's another thing though. You can also be one of the 12 lucky winners to win a shirt or jacket when you order a product from their graduation sale which is equal to one raffle ticket. That is a special offer that is only available for a limited time so grab yours now. You can find them on Facebook, Young Metro ng TGRPWR clothing or Instagram at TGRPWR underscore UST. And by the way, if you are tuning into this live with Jordi, again, thank you for him joining us. You have a chance to win a UST Asian yes. Street Windbreaker jacket from TGRPWR clothing. That's a giveaway. We are giving away a free UST jacket that looks really cool. It's a white windbreaker. Rainy season, perfect for the time. So guys, get on it. Here are the stipulations mm -hmm. for the giveaway. One, you got to follow my account. That, that's at ByNavsG on Instagram. And also follow at TGRPWR underscore USD on Instagram. Number two, after we post this interview on my Instagram feed, we need you to restare, uh, restory or reshare the episode uh, on your stories. And then on your stories, make sure you tag my account. Make sure you tag TGRPWR underscore UST and mention what was your favorite part of the interview. Uh, look for a comment from Ron Pangyarian uh, in the live comment section. The stipulations are there. Again, we are giving away uh, UST Asian Street Windbreaker Jacket. Perfect for the rainy season. Uh, Jordi, however, there's one viewer who says that she doesn't want a jacket. She wants a hug from you instead. Is that possible? Would you say so? 
when the pandemic's over, but I probably say it's possible. But at the moment, you know, with health protocols, yeah, I don't think I can. That uh, that is uh, a wise uh, a wise man wise decision there. And again, the stipulations for the giveaway is here in the comments <laughs> right now. So let's get to some more questions for Jordy. Wow, the most questions I've ever had in a live, of course. Big week for Jordy <laughs> for joining us just now. He is officially a USD Growling Tiger after spending mm-hmm. most of his career with uh, UP, UPIS. Hmm, what's a good one here? Do you play Valorant? That's a good question. Do you play that, Jordy? Uh, no. No. Uh, no, I play God Warzone. Okay. God Warzone 2K. Okay. I used to play ML, but, yeah. mm. Here, here's another good one. What is your most unforgettable moment in your UAAP Junior basketball experience? Uh, prob- probably, you know, scoring at the. I get probably just last year, I was scoring. I think twenty-seven, my career high against. The reigning champions, National University, was probably the most memorable moment. Mm. How did you f- in your AP high school? How did you feel that, yeah, that game? Probably... Like everything was gonna go in. Yeah, actually, I think that game was a day after my birthday, so I was really pumped. You know, really excited to play and to be able to score uh, my career highs against the, the champions. You know, it was really, really great. But you know. We took the L, you know, we got to improve a lot, but yeah, it, was, it just felt great. Okay, interesting. So Colin had another one of his interesting comments where he said, uh, uh, Jordy's actually single for all of eternity. I don't believe that. I think, <laughs> I think it's impossible. <laughs> so there's a question here, and I'm sorry I have to put you on the spot, but someone wants to ask. Like, what characteristics do you look for in a... Let's not say girl. Let's say what characteristics do you look for in a woman? Probably... I'd say the looks, of course. Yeah, it's got to be in the personality. Personality, definitely. And, you know, the brains is a bonus, of course. <laughs> but I, I like... So, just the looks, you know, I'd say. And the personality, most definitely. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, I guess that answers the question for any interested applicants there. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, here's a good question. Did wait? Where was that? Let me find that again. Um, oh yeah, your favorite game with the junior maroons was your career high game, right? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Definitely. Uh, here's a good one I saw earlier. Is there any specific spot in UST that you've already seen and you're excited to check out? I've actually only been there once, so uh, I'm not really familiar with the place, you know. I, I think I picked up my bro once. Uh, it was the only time I've been to UST. But I'm going there tomorrow to tour the campus. I'm, I'm not really sure, familiar with the place yet, so I can't say. You know, uh, you might, uh, yeah, not, yeah. yeah. If it rains strong, you might get the first-hand experience of rainy season in España. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jordi, do you feel like this was a? I'm interested your, about your thoughts with this, so I will kind of bring it back here. You know, um, do you feel like this was a mature decision? Because. What, like one way you could have done was would have been like okay because you mentioned you want to leave your comfort zone diba? so one option you had was let's stay in my comfort zone let's yes. stay in UP but then you took the challenge of saying I want to grow and I want to be uncomfortable why do you want to be uncomfortable what do you think yeah. that helps in terms of your life and career yeah I'm gonna learn a lot you know but I want to make the uncomfortable comfortable for me you know and i think i have a lot a lot to learn from my new teammates in usd coach the coaches of course in the new community i'm gonna be be in i have a lot to learn. i'm not too familiar with the places so also it's a new new a new beginning for me i'd say are you excited to live by yourself and, and i think i'm gonna grow a lot <laughs> no i think i'm gonna be homesick a bit you know I think I'll probably go home like every other day, maybe. Mm. 
it's just so traffic, you know, probably. True. It's just actually near from the house, but, you know, the traffic just makes it wild, you know. Right. And, and especially the rainy season right now. It's oh, man. Be a combo. For sure. Well, at least, <laughs> at least for now, it might be online classes for him, right? So, you're still pretty safe for Yeah, now. hopefully. Yo. Right. Okay. Um, let's see if there are other questions here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There's one thing I wanted to ask you, which was, you know, Coach Gino is in charge now of USC. But, yes, of course, yes, Coach Gino yes. was an assistant under Coach Alden, who implemented his mm-hmm. mayhem system in USD. So because Coach Gino was Alden's assistant, does that mean you guys will use the Mayhem system? And if yes, how do you fit I, I, in the Mayhem system? Yeah, I'd say most likely, yeah, they, Coach, Coach Gino will, you know, learn, you know. I th- and I think Coach Alden will also be there, still in USD, even if he's not the head coach at the moment. You know, they still use his system. And I think I fit perfectly in the team, I'd say. I'd fit perfectly. Yes, mm-hmm. because USD's players, Coach Alden enables them to take a lot of three-pointers, right? So, in, yeah, the, yeah. in terms of the three-point, and he likes players who are long, and you're long for a shooting guard. Then. So, I'm sure yep. he's going to allow you to take a lot of the three-pointers and offense. You're going to have the green light. But, how about the defense part of it? Are you used to running a press defense, like high pressure defense, or is it something you have to learn? Pa? Yeah, I think that's something I need to improve on at the moment, of course. My, my strength, of course. My, I'd say, yeah, I think I need to improve on defense more than offense at the moment. Yeah. Right. What about defense do you need to improve on? Probably my speed. My, you know, my rat, lateral defenses and yeah to to be able to match up against fast faster guys than me I, I have to work 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 I have to work my way sounds like a song work 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 <laughs> all right um let's see if we got any more questions here okay i have to like ask you this now because i've seen this request at least 30 times a lot of viewers right now want to see you do the UP chant one last time. I don't know which one exactly. Maybe it's the U, Mibar Sidad, that one. Uh, so do you want to do it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Let's do it one more time, Jordi. Just for everyone to hear, everyone <laughs> feeling emotional about you leaving. Uh, okay. I'm actually shy, but... Hmm. Uh. You, me, Percy, dead. Philippines. There yeah. you go. I hope that made everyone <laughs> happy. <laughs> okay, okay. So, more, miss it. yeah, I'm sure you are. A few more uh, questions before I let you go here. You just mentioned you're going to miss UP. Name three random things you're going to miss in UP. You know, the community, the people from my classmates. I see my classmates right here commenting, you know, Jason, Colin. And the the campus itself, you know, it's very and the teachers of course I'm gonna miss EBIS. My my proctor right now, Mom Grace, I'm gonna miss her also. <laughs> but she wanted me to be on the UP player, but you know, I'm gonna miss I'm gonna miss the community, the people, the campus and the you know, the foods of course in UP area too. Hmm. Yeah, and the kiosks outside. Gonna miss it, of course. Yeah, really. Yeah. It seems like you're really gonna miss UP. You mentioned food. What was your go-to <laughs> food in UP? Uh, out in the kiosk, I probably <laughs> Canton. But in area two, I'd like to say Bulalo. Mm. It's Bulalo and there. It's very, very good. Takoyaki outside, also milk teas. You know, it's complete. <laughs> after a work, after a workout, I go straight there to eat. You know. Hungry. Right. I'm gonna miss it. I'm sure you are, and I'm sure UP is gonna miss you, but who knows? Maybe it's not goodbye. Maybe it's just to see you later, right? Uh that's not <laughs> that's not breaking news by the way. This never know. Yeah, okay. Well now it might be. <laughs> but I'm just like uh putting, <laughs> putting out some thoughts there. But now let's go to USD, Jordy, because when I interviewed you after it became official, I remember you mentioned 
uh, my goal in USD is I want to be a champion, right? And mm-hmm. that's a yes. that's a goal. To at be, least, at least, yeah, that's a goal uh, of every GDL bro now to become a UAAP champion. Uh, what is going to be required for you to accomplish that goal from yourself and from the team? For me personally, you know, I have to improve my game. And, you know, hard work, of course, is there from the me and my teammates, coaches. In order to become a champion, we have to act like a champion, you know. So it's hard work. Mm-hmm. It's definitely hard work. Definitely hard work. All, mm-hmm. all right. What's it going to be like? Uh, first, whenever the UAP returns, 2022, late 2021, maybe 2022, who knows? We'll see. But what's it going to be like, that first UP-USD game? You and Javi are in the game, right? Okay, let's, let's make it a movie, okay? <laughs> so you're both in the, the official table. You're waiting to check in, right? So you already start, like, teasing each other. You're like, oi, don't choke, huh? Or something like that, right? And then the, the ref rings. You both come in. First possession, Javi has the ball. You're switched out onto him. What's happening after that? You know, let's get it on, you know? Let's, let's, let's see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do my part for my team in the community. You know, I'll do my best to, you know, I'd say I'd stop. I'd try to stop him, of course. He's got it, bro. Definitely. Especially, you know, yeah. All this, ba- all the bag of tricks he has, you know, I learned from him. So I, I know how, I know what to do at the moment. So what's, what's his first move? Is he going right? Is he going left? Is he pump faking? Is he pulling up? What do you think he... What's your prediction? If I say now, he's probably changing. <laughs> <laughs> but probably he's going to go all right, attack me, you know, use his body, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to prepare for that, of course. And, you know, with the help defense, I think we'll, we'll do a good job. Mm-hmm. Be able to stop, stop him in the UP, of course. All right. So let's say Javi uses his body, right? Let's say somehow he scores two points or let's say he gets a foul, makes free throws, right? You get the ball back and this time he's switched on to you. He's defending you. I know you don't want to reveal <laughs> secrets, but since the UAP is still far away, what are you doing? Are you trying to beat him at speed? Are you trying to just pull up Lillard style? Like, what's your plan? I'm going to drive left, step back and... Make a three on his ass. Oh, <laughs> damn. Javi, did you hear that? The challenge has been established. Okay. I, I, First three points right there. Oh, my gosh. I am going to make sure I am present for that game. And, you know, that might just be my first, my article from that game, man. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I'm sure, like so many of the people watching the, the, the live right now, I'm 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 missing the UAP so much. How about you? How much are you missing UAP action as a player and as a fan? Uh, me, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, especially I missed my last year as a high school senior UAP. I'm gonna miss the last year and this year. I'm not 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 sure if there's gonna be UAP. So it makes two years. I you know I miss it a lot actually from the. The atmosphere of the arena once you the game starts it's very intense, you know, exciting. You know, yeah, that's what I miss the most. I'm sure, I'm sure. The community, the fans, of course. All right, I want to ask the viewers something. All of you guys, what do you think? Does Jordi look better in yellow or maroon? Let us know in the comments. I'm really curious what everyone has to say. And yeah, Jordi, show off that yellow jacket. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Jordy, by the way, I have some good news for you. Do you want to hear it? So, TG, uh, TGRPWR Clothing, Young Metro, is also going to send you a white USP Asian Street windbreaker to welcome yes, you sir. to the USP community. So, after you and I are done. That's what I want to hear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, after you and I are done with this live, you are going to send me the details so they can have that shipped to you. And again, we are giving a giveaway that's separate but same jacket. The stipulations are in the comments. We're going to ask uh, Ron to put that again so you guys can check it out. I'll also share a story with the stipulations. All right. So, Oh, so yellow or maroon? Someone here comments sa akin siya bagay. Um, I guess Jordi, that's for you to decide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Malay mo. Malay mo. 
Malay mo, you never know, right? I like the confidence. <laughs> so, Jordi, last question before we call it today. Again, thank you so much for taking the time out. I know it's been a hectic. Yeah, thank you for having me, Nav. Thank you, thank you. My pleasure. The the gratitude is from Miss Mine. Um, and thank you again for joining. I know it's been a busy week. So, let's look forward to the future. Five years from now, what is Jordi GDL's legacy as a USD Growling Tiger? Hopefully, uh, as you said, I wanted to become a champion at least. Probably, mul- hopefully, multiple champions. You know, you know, I just do my best for the team and the school. And let's just see. Let's just see. In our, uh, yeah. Let's just see. Awesome. Let's leave it at there. Like you said, have fun. Let's just see. Jordi, thank you Let's so get it done. thank you so much for the time, Jordi. Yeah, so, is there anything you wanna plug uh, aside from your basketball? Anything that you wanna mention that you might be coming out with? Some fat. I know you're into fashion. Uh, I just wanna sh- quick shout out to my. Can I shout out some people? Of course. In this please. case, yeah, of course. I wanna shout out my my fans. You know, Jordi, GDL fans, of course, and my, my loyal fans. Even though they're in UP. Casey Asterboy, Mabea, you know, and I want to thank you, my teachers in UPIS, my teammates, you know, Colin, for supporting me, becoming me, helping me to become the player I am today, you know, definitely. Mm-hmm. And coaches, of course. Awesome. Coach Paolo, the gang, the gang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great, great. Uh, anyone from U- the UP team management you want to shout out to? If your team manager. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I want to shout out Sir Dale. Sir Dale, of course, my team manager. Mm-hmm. He's, been, he's been helping me a lot. You know, I want to sh- give credit to that. Yeah. You know, he's been a big help to me in the community. You're graduating soon, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, yeah. how excited is it to get a high school diploma? I was, six years, you know. I, Really excited. I've been waiting for this moment actually just to get it done, to get it over with, you know. Become a college student, of course. Excited also. Just excited to get my diploma. Does a, di- <laughs> a diploma feel more fulfilling than a basketball accomplishment? Uh, I, I can't say. I can't say. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> I guess, you know. I guess we'll find I can't out. See. I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So before we go, shout out to, to Mr. Diego Dario, who's congratulate who's saying he's proud of you, Jordi. Thanks, to Diego, for tuning yeah, in. Thank you. Thank you, Diego. Yes. Thank you, thank you to. Uh, and by the way, Diego Dario belongs in the PBA roster. I want to put that out there right now. PBA team, sign him. He belongs there. Uh, he will make an impact in the league. And shout out. To Definitely. Shout out to Colin. Thanks for the comment. Shout out to Javi for joining Thanks, us. Coach. Yes. Shout out to Javi for joining us today. Shout out to all the fans of uh, Jordi who tuned in. And again, shout out to Jordi. Jordi, congratulations on a mature big boy decision. Uh, and best of luck to you. More power. Thank you, Nav. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you for tuning in. See you, guys.